Hello, I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Rees on Etsy, and in this video I want to show you how to make an Etsy cover photo and the importance of having one. To get started, first um, type in canva.com, and this is where we're going to create your custom Etsy cover photo. So now, instead of, instead of using an Etsy banner, which is smaller, the, with the new upgrade, Etsy's going to um, start incorporating cover photos. So there are larger, um, the pixel sizes for those cover photos is 1200 by 300 and um, it actually gives you more room for you to display your brand with like your taglines, um, coloring, or maybe you can put some examples of your work and stuff like that. So um, it's kind of exciting to see this new cover photo and how much more branding you're able to do on your Etsy shop. Now keep in mind too that once you upload a cover photo, shoppers will see it while browsing on all their devices, including a desktop computer, the mobile, web browser and um, the Etsy app. Whereas if you just keep it, your Etsy shop to only having the banner, it will only show on the desktop. So um, let's get started. So first, like I said, you go to canva.com and if you click here on the more, it'll give you options that you can scroll through all these different options. And what we're looking for is the Etsy cover photo. So it's going to be under the social media and email headers, and it says Etsy cover photo, and you can see the, um, the sizing right there, the 1200 by 300 pixels. So if you just click on that, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and just name it um, you know, Southern Charm Rees Etsy cover photo. You can name it whatever you want to. Um, so we've now named it. Um, then what... Etsy, I'm sorry, and what Canva does is it gives you all these different layouts that you can choose from. So we're just going to quickly like go through a couple of them. But if you find a layout that's kind of, you know, that might work for your um, um, shop, you could just click on it and then just change the name. And then you um, might need to make the, the font a little bit smaller, but you could just change the name, um, change move it to the back. Nope, didn't want to do that. Undo. There we go. And then you can um, change this, you know, Rees, Lantern, Swags, whatever, whatever your um, shop is. But that's right there. You've created a, a, a Canva, I'm sorry, an Etsy cover photo. So it's really quick. Um, that's just a plain, simple um, cover photo. If you don't like the colors and you need a color that matches your brand, you can just quickly and easily change the colors just like that. And that's it. You've done it. That's very simple. But let's say that you don't want that one. But um, let's see, you can choose any of the other layouts that they give you. So if you have um, some that are, um, if your Etsy shop is more, um, you know, into photography or um, like bike gear or outdoor um, gear. Um, here's one that's more on like lighting and photography. So they have all these different themes that you can choose from. But then if you scroll down to the bottom, it has um, various layouts. Now these are just layouts that are pre-designed for you. So if you click on one, let's say this one, for example. No, let's go to one that's got more. So if you go to this one, for example, you can then upload photos to fill in these boxes. So I've already uploaded some photos. So just to show you as an example, you can just drop in, you know, different photos that you have of your products. <clears throat> and um, that's a quick and easy way to create an um, Etsy cover photo. So um, let's get rid of this. I'm going to go back to the layouts and I'm going to do one that's a little bit more detailed. Let me see if I can find. I wanted one that had um, about 13 boxes in it that was staggered so that I can give a better representation of my work. 
Here it is. So if we go to, um, so we click on the layout and then we go to our uploads. So now I can just drag <clears throat> items in. If I double click on it, I can move, move the image around within that, that box and then just place you know, various items in it. <clears throat> so I'm just quickly loading up and repositioning um, some of my own um, items that I have for sale. So then we've got that. And now what I can do is add um, some text. To do that, I just need to go to the elements and click on. Now, these are all the elements that you can kind of go through and check out, but I'm going to cl click on the shapes. <coughs> Sorry. And resize the shape. I'm going to copy that and move it over here. So now I've created um, an area that I can add some text. So if I just go in here, let's I might want to add text that says, um, that might describe my shop a little bit. So I might do these for seasons. I can change the font <clears throat> and the size. and then move it over here. I have a tr problem grabbing it to move it. There it goes. So there's that one. And then I can just copy and paste or just keep copying a couple of them. And then I'll just rearrange them down. <coughs> So you can be, you know, a lot more specific with yours that I'm just giving you examples. And then in this one, I might want to um, include my logo that I've already uploaded. And then I can even put a tagline here if I wanted. <clears throat> so there's a quick um, way that I've just designed uh, a, an Etsy cover photo. And so let me show you um, some other ways. So let me just delete these. And um, if we go back to the um, layout, actually, let's do one without a layout. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to look up frames. <clears throat> and so I'll choose uh, one of these frame layouts, Not that one, this one. And then um, I think I'm going to put a circle frame over here. And then I go back to my uploads. Let's go ahead and put that here. 
and I'll just drag and drop some. Oh, it's too late. Sorry. <clears throat> some of my um, items that I've already uploaded. I'll just put those over here. So plan, then I can resize this whole box if I want to. So this is kind of fun, just kind of playing around, to be honest with you. You could waste a lot of time. <laughs> and then I'll probably put a picture of me on that circle. There's one. So I'm just uploading or resizing it within that picture frame <clears throat> and then here you could add a tagline um, I don't know bring in nature to your door So you can re, you know, do whatever you want to with words and um, that type of thing, whatever logo you want to put up here, whatever wording that you might want to uh, pull in, or if you have a tagline or if you have any um, features that you want to draw your attention to for your Etsy shop, you could do that. But like here's another quick Etsy banner that we just created. So that was um, very easy. <clears throat> And then let's do another one just to show you. So if I go to the layouts, there's a lot of scrolling in Canva. Okay, so let's choose one that's real simple and say I want to choose, uh, I might put my picture over here. I'll probably do one that's a little bit more serious. So if I put my picture over here, and then I can increase this again. And then over here, what I could do is just put something as, a, this is a picture of one of my reads and I could just use it as a background. <clears throat> And then I can um, put a shape As you can see all the different shapes that they have. This one actually, I'm going to try this one. It's got a border, a more of a border to it. And then you could change the color. So these are, are these are my brand colors, so that's why they're already selected. Um, <clears throat> actually. And then I could just type in, so if you don't have a logo, that's okay. You could just still type your name of your shop. And then just resize it. So I might want that gray just a little bit lighter. And then you can, I can change this to purple if I want to. That might look a little bit better. 
<clears throat> so now we've created yet another Etsy cover photo. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one, I think, to, um, for, to, to show you how to download it. Um, just keep in mind, too, that if you, use, if you create these without paying, so some of the, the options that Etsy gives you are for free, and some of them you have to pay. They might want to charge you a dollar. If you pay for any of their backgrounds, um, just keep in mind that you can only make changes to it um, within like 24 hours before having to repay again. So um, keep that in mind. But if you don't use um, their paid options and just create the backgrounds yourself like this, then you can change them out as the season um, changes. So for example, that's really helpful for my shop because, you know, I sell a lot of seasonal items for Christmas and fall and that type of thing. So that would be kind of neat to be able to change this out. But let me just show you how, okay, so now we've, um, and also Canva automatically saves it. We don't have to hit, you know, save or anything like that. It automatically is being saved. So we've already named it, and now we're just going to download it. I, I download it for the web. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to put it someplace where I know I can find it. And then um, I'm going to go over and show you how to upload it. So once you have, once you're at, logged into your Etsy shop, um, <clears throat> you're just going to click on um, the view new shop, or I'm sorry, edit new shop. And then it gives you to this, comes to this page. So this would be my old Etsy banner. And I'm just going to click on the little icon and I'm going to choose cover photo. Click on add cover photo. Click the one we just saved or downloaded. And there it is. So then you click the save button. So now there's a new cover photo that we've just created. So that's pretty simple, isn't it? And there you have it, a quick and easy way to create an Etsy cover photo using Canva. Um, I gave you several options to use. Um, make sure you go in and just play around with it to see what options you like. And um, try to create something that really brings out your branding. So as you can see that um, it really does um, <clears throat> display large. So it is going to be... Um, real important that it does display um, what your shop is about and um, your branding. But if you have any questions, just comment below and thanks for watching.